Yo, what is going on? So today we're going to be talking about my student daily care here in Washington. Now, of course, this does differ depending on the school I'm going to or just what's going on during the week. But I'm going to show you pretty average back to school, just a pretty average daily uh, carry for me as a student. So with that being said, let's get into today's video. Now, generally speaking, my daily carry is pretty simple. It's using my backpack with a tablet and a computer and all my books. But not always, a lot of times I actually carry my camera with me as well. So, we're gonna do a kind of a pretty comprehensive uh, carry. Why does this not look like it's in focus? It's very cool. A pretty comprehensive carry as to what I'll usually have, like on more extreme days, what's gonna be in that bag. So, okay, so let's go grab the bag and let's back up. So this is the bag that goes with me pretty much everywhere. This is just a quick Swiss, pretty thick backpack. And yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get packing. All right, so the laptop always goes in first. Uh, this is, again is my 16 inch 2019 fully specced MacBook Pro. This thing's insane. Eight core CPU, eight gigs of RAM video card, eight terabytes of storage, 64 gigs of RAM. This thing's a monster. It goes with me everywhere, pretty much, especially if I need to do it for a lot of school. Now, I've been doing a lot of backing up because our internet here where I live is terrible. So I do do a lot of my backing up to like the cloud over at the school. So this is usually why it goes with me. There are sometimes I'll just do a tablet day, but this goes in the back almost all the time. Next, of course, in my tablet, of course, this is my first gen 11 inch iPad Pro uh, with 512 gigs of storage as well, actually, just like my phone. And so this, I usually keep in um, either one or two cases. I will usually have my really thin photo case as well as a keyboard case if that's gonna be more of my main device. Let's go and grab that. So, of course, here we have the two different cases I have for this tablet. We have the folio case, which is like really, really, really thin. And then we have the thicker keyboard case, which if I'm just doing a case day, I, uh, no laptop day, I will use that one. But for the main most part, I use the folio case just because it's thin and goes in the bag easy. So let's throw that in. Of course, as a media creator and just someone who power uses their phone a lot, I need a battery pack. So mine, of course, is a Mophie Juice Pack 20,000 milliamp hour rechargeable battery. So that goes in the battery pack because my backpack actually has a specific place to put a battery pack. So battery pack. This is the Mophie Juice Pack XL, not sponsored. This thing's amazing. Um, but as you can see, it's 20,000. Pretty, pretty nice. Come on, focus, there we go. 20,000 milliamps, it's really nice. So this goes in the bag. And that's all that really goes back in the laptop sleeve of the bag. Now, a lot of other stuff like cables will go in other parts of the bag, but as far as like the laptop sleeve, that's all that goes back there. So let's go ahead and grab cables while we're at it. I obviously have cables for my phone, my AirPods, which is the same with my phone, so I'll usually just grab two for those just in case someone else needs one. A wall wart charging for my laptop and a couple others just in case to make sure I really have rounded out those cables to make sure I'm not missing anything. So let's go and grab those. So we have my 96 watt wall charger and then I'll usually bring one other wall board just in case, laptop cable, and then an assortment of lightning cables. Now, and a USB-C to USB-C cable for my iPad. Now cables, I'm very picky about how these get wrapped um, because cables are fragile and fragile things break, said a wise man once or couple hundred thousand times and so I always wrap them one way then the other and invert and wrap around the outside a couple times just to make sure those tails are tucked in pretty decently it's really easy to tie your cables up correctly like this and it saves you a lot of work in the end as well so just making sure we have these cables wrapped up nicely because that's one of my biggest pet peeves is cables that aren't cared for. All right, so we've got our two lightning cables and our USB-C cable for our iPad, our laptop cable, a wall wart, and a power brick. Now, if I'm going to be gone for a long time period or without power, I will throw in my other very janky old battery pack. This thing is, seems like it is. That's actually a sticker of the school I'm going to now that I covered up when I wasn't going here. Um, this is a 14,600 million power battery. It'll last pretty well. Only like three of the ports still work on it out of four. Um, this thing special needs to be recharged. I need to find a better one because this one's gonna fail or it's gonna explode or something. I don't know. This was one of like the, one of those really cheap like forty dollar ones you get on Amazon that's really sketchy. But if I need extra power, that will go in the bag as well. Okay, and then come a lot of the other accoutrements aside from like class materials. So of course I have my AirPods. I usually take both pairs just in case, as well as just like pencils and pens and chargers and all that. Of course my camera always goes in the bag, and that I will take the lens off that, throw covers on it, and throw that in the bot in the bag. Um, on top of some other stuff. So, I'm gonna show you what that looks like. 
All right, so the first ones that always go in are my really class specific things like math, as well as um, books for one of my other main classes. Now, while this does seem like a lot, I assure you I usually use 90% of it. And if I don't, then I'm probably just missing something. I would rather be one of those people that has everything and not need it than one of the people who doesn't have everything and winds up needing it. So I usually throw in a lot of stuff. A lot of people think I bring too much. Some people think I don't bring enough. Again, it's really down to what do you need and what do you think you're gonna need versus not. So usually here as well, I'll put my camera as well as my last few books. So camera will go in here as well as my tripod and then a few of the other non-essentials like SD cards and SD card reader. Now, in here, this is kind of a catch-all for everything else that doesn't really work. So I'll usually throw in my magic mouse, a multi-tool or three always got to have multi-tools with you. You never know what you're going to need. Stuff for the bike, bike lights, speedometers, all that kind of thing. Those will go in here as well. Because a lot of the time I'm packing this bag very, I'll pack it at night because I'm getting up so early the next morning and I just want to make sure I know I have everything I'm going to need for the next day in the bag. And of course, we can't forget writing utensils. Always want to make sure you got highlighters and a lot of pens. Now, do I always use pens? No, but you never know if someone else needs one. And usually the AirPods will actually find their way in there as well. The last two things that really ever make in my bag is a pencil sharpener, which I actually need to empty, and notebooks. Now these are really good for us writing ideas or other things as you think of them during the day. So these will just go in the outside pouch here, and the pencil sharpener will just go with the writing utensils. Those are really good to have just to like work through things on the road. And then this backpack has seen better days, so you can see it's being held together by staples here. Of course, these are being held together by staples here, which is nice. Um, but yeah, hey, it works. Cinch this puppy down. Again, quite a few staples there holding this puppy together. Cool. And the last thing, of course is liquids. That sounds sketchy, but you always need water. Now I will usually also throw food in there, but that doesn't really matter for you guys. And yeah, that's my bag. There's a lot in it that I probably don't need, but there's also a lot that I do need. So yeah, that's just kind of what I throw in my bag day to day as I'm going to and from school. It's pretty heavy, but hey, you get used to it. So. That being said, I'm going to cut the video here because we're at 13 minutes and it's going to be a heck of a lot to edit. But I'll catch you guys tomorrow morning, probably, as I do in the Day in the Life video. So, see you guys around. Get ready for a busy day tomorrow. we got 8.30s until 4.30s. It's going to be a long day. Peace.